Let's get ourselves connected. Gotta get yourself connected. We've come out today to the Sony Style Store to talk to Brent DeWall from Sony, the training manager, about some technologies 3D TV. Hey Brent. Hey. Thanks for talking to us again today. So we're gonna look at the 3D TV technology. What, what can you tell us about it? Well, 3D technology, it's amazing that we can have it in home, in home so quickly. And what's great about it is that it's gonna be all kinds of content. You're gonna have your video games, you're gonna have your TV broadcasting, you're gonna have your sports, which is gonna be fantastic. And all that will now be in your your home. So everything you're watching in high def, you'll be able to watch in 3D. And so what do you want to say to somebody who's just coming into the market and looking for a 3D TV? Like, how did, how did they make that decision to, to, to take the jump, so to speak? Well, I think the first thing they have to do is just look at it. For a lot of people, that, that's the first step. Just like when High Def came out, you have to see and go, what, what's this all about? And when people put it on and they, they start seeing some of the content they're interested in, because it's really about watching your favorite movie in 3D or sure. playing your favorite video game. And when you see it, that, that wow just happens. People often just smile. They put on the glasses, and the first thing they do a smile. Basically, how does it work? Like, not all the fine details, but, but what's needed in order to do 3D TV? Well, basically, what you need is you need to separate the images coming from the left eye to the right. If you hold your hand over your eye and, yep. and look at something in the distance, sort of that's straight up and down, you'll notice that it shifts slightly. So, uh -huh. the difference between your eyes is what gives you that perspective. And what we do with the glasses and the TV is they work together to basically cover one eye and show you your left eye image and cover the other eye and show your right eye image. So it's kind of like your old Viewmaster toy, but now it's moving at 60 frames a second. So these, um, these are the glasses and I'm starting to see these more and more now. Why aren't they red and blue? Well, because the polarizer, they kind of look a little bit like sunglasses. Yeah. And what we have in here is actually LCDs. Oh, okay. And they close off the eye 240 times a second so wow. that you can block the picture coming from the screen. You can tell right now that they, they still kind of look like sunglasses. They're not flickering. That's because the technology we've developed allows you just to close off the other side of the polarization. Wow. So just the TV goes black and white. So it's, it's a lot more comfortable viewing experience and it gives you a nice separation which makes 3D comfortable. Very cool. There's a lot of manufacturers coming to the market with uh, 3D technology. What would you say that stands out or differentiates Sony? Well, I think in terms of Sony, we're looking at it from the full production lineup. We're building 3D broadcast cameras, we're shooting FIFA in 3D. Wow. We're starting an institute to help uh, all kinds of content creators learn to shoot in 3D because it's a whole new language. One of the first places you'll see it is in the video games. I mean, they've been made in three dimensions yeah. and shown in 2D for a long time, and that immersive aspect is, is really amazing. That's pretty cool. Do you think that 3D technology will be one of the mainstream or main types of TVs that people have in their homes in the years to come? Well, we expect that a lot of people will be bringing in the 3D technology, and a lot of people will be adopting it just because it, it's really cool and interesting. What's great about 3D technology is that it is not a giant leap more expensive in in terms of bringing it in. So we can bring it in on our high-end TVs and the following year we'll be able to bring it into more of the lineup. And it's something that you can choose to get into. We're gonna have a bunch of televisions that you won't be paying for the 3D when you buy the set, but if you decide later, you can get a pair of glasses and a transmitter. You can upgrade your Blu-ray player. All our current Blu-ray players that we're bringing out this year will be upgradable to 3D. Mm -hmm. If you have a PS3, it's upgradable to 3D. When I think about it, one of the most important points is just the source. Should we expect to see 3D channels available through our cable provider, DVDs when we go into the store available in the 3D as well, including the Blu-ray and the high def. Right, and that's what's great about the technology is you can make a Blu-ray disc that will play in 2D players, but if you have 3D, it will oh. play in 3D. So oh, the people who have to carry these in the stores and decide, they still only carry one title. And then if you have it, you get the extra. As well, every uh, kind of the, the broadcast type technology will be able to partner and be able to deliver in 3D. Anybody that uh, does make the decision to go with the 3D TV, will they still be able to enjoy all the same features of a high-end 2D television? Absolutely. It's completely forward and backward compatible, so if you have a 2D source, you can watch it in 2D. If you actually want to do a simulated 3D, there's a little button that will, just like uh, DVD upscaling, give you a little bit of 3D on your regular 2D content. And again, just like DVDs, it won't be as good as the Blu-ray or yeah. 
the broadcast, but it'll uh, allow you to, to decide on your own what you want to watch. There you go. Well, if you've been thinking about checking out the uh, 3D technology, come down to your local Sony-style store, put on a pair of these sunglasses, and check it out. Thanks, Brent.